There has been a lot of concern about cannabis, but some of the claims have been exaggerated, sensationalist, there's been a lot of very alarmist media headlines, which is why it's so important that there is a body that can consider the evidence calmly, objectively and rationally. After considering the evidence and recommending that the drug remain at Class C, the government then rejected that advice and has moved the drug to B. And we feel that the reasons given for that important policy decision don't merit going against the advice of its own advisory body. Cannabis is harmful and we fully accept there is a need and we've been calling for it for better public information and education but to use the drug classification system, i.e. basically the, the framework of the legal penalties, as a way to try and get the message across, particularly to young people, we consider a very blunt and crude instrument. And there's actually no evidence that just by moving cannabis to B, that fewer people will use the drug or be more aware of the potential harms it can cause. What the government is now saying to the police, if somebody is found in possession of cannabis, for a first offence, the likelihood is there'll be a cannabis warning. A second offence, the enforcement will escalate. Somebody could be issued what's called a penalty uh, notice, which is basically an £80 fine. If there's a third offence, then somebody could be cautioned, possibly um, you know, arrested. And, uh, but uh, basically the main impact of the change is to effectively escalate where people are found with small amounts of cannabis um, uh, by the police.